Good morning. I just taken my four mile walk. And uh, I'm reflecting on yesterday. I went to Newark. I, I arrived to my destination around five o'clock. Uh, as I got off Road 280, my guardian angel kind of reminded me, hey, you're gonna cross Route 21, part of highway. You better be <clears throat> ready and careful and alert. As I've had all my major auto accidents right there. Well, <laughs> lo and behold, just as I'm getting to the intersection where I got T-boned, this young lady is driving by with a bumper on the side of her car. <laughs> and then I look ahead and of course, this lady goes to make a U-turn on Raymond Boulevard. There's no street, so she didn't come through the intersection. Pow! And the girl looked like, she couldn't believe, I couldn't believe. How did this happen? It must have been like a dream. But thank God for my guardian angel alerting me, or the spirit world, whoever, or intuition, if you're a scientist, whatever you want to call it. And I was alert, and I made it across. It was a harrowing experience. I've had uh, multiple incidents where I could have, somebody could have smashed into me because people just uh, don't seem to know how to drive, you know. And uh, the other thing, I feel bad that I'm not a tougher guy. So I'm kind of down on myself for not being tougher, but the stench on Ferry Street. There was a southerly airflow, and yes, there's a fat processing plant out there, animal fat. Always has been in there, but I couldn't take the smell. I really couldn't take it. I wanted to die. Now I'm told I used to breathe it in and I was quite happy. <laughs> But I guess since COVID, I haven't gone to Newark at all. And I just, you know, I'm always around trees and fresh air. And I guess you could get used to horrible stuff. Well, I grew up in that section of Newark when all the industries were, were up and running. I had childhood asthma. That was before the EPA and DEP. So I'm told my asthma, I outgrew it, but I think, I think the EPA and DP did more to clean the air, and that's why I got rid of the asthma. But anyway, here I am. It's just as humid as it was in Newark, and I have no problem breathing this air. <clears throat> well, lastly, I'd like to report, as I walked this morning, two people from my neighborhood are selling their homes and moving out. One had an actual moving truck, one had a moving sign. So people are moving, Hapakon is moving. Uh, there's changes coming to Hapakon. So, um, but I'm remaining the same. I'm just doing the same thing I always do, walk, lift weights, eat healthy. And um, it's very peaceful and that's all, I, that's all I'm looking for right now. Hopefully, uh, if I'm supposed to move, who knows, that I'll find uh, my way of finding, uh, as the Indians would say, happy hunting grounds. So uh, with that, I'm just going to say goodbye and continue my walk. i got to do another two miles. I've videoed here before, before everything was lush green. So let me kind of let you uh, see the lush greenery that I'm referring to. I'll take you to the bird watch. Let me take a shortcut right through here. Instead of walking around this bush, I'll walk right here. And I'll let you <clears throat> glimpse the bird watch area. Okay, so with that, I'm just going to bid you guys farewell for now. You know, I got things to do. It's early. It's early on Saturday. It's uh, 10.20. I got out a little early because we're looking for rain. So uh, 
the thunder showers, whatever, you know. Oh my God. I know you're not gonna be able to see it. A heron, he's listening to me talk. If I have my zoom camera right there. Oh my God, I know this GoPro doesn't zoom. This is the Hero 3. But he's right there and he hears me talking so he's got his eye on me. There he goes, he's flying away. Wow, what a treat. What a treat, okay. That was our little blessing of the day. Have a blessed day.